Hey everybody, Brett here with the Indie Comics Dispatch. Uh, just got a copy of The Watcher, a new series that's coming out from an organization called Genesis Culture. Um, they've been teasing this book for quite a while and the preview issue is finally out and I was sent a copy to look at. I do want to say right off the bat that this book is very heavily Christian, and so if that's not your cup of tea, you may want to skip it. Um, but if you can move past that, um, there's a great story laying here. The Watcher series is about a pastor who uh, gets powers, um, kind of not supernatural powers, but kind of. Um. The Watcher series is about a pastor who uh, gets powers, um, kind of not supernatural powers, but kind of. Um. The Watcher series is about a pastor who ultimately becomes um, powered, super powered, I guess, if you will, uh, by God to, to fight um, sexual trafficking in his hometown of Memphis, Tennessee. Now, he doesn't get traditional like Superman powers. He gets just really kind of peak. He gets everything moved to the peak of human performance and then a few enhanced abilities. So he's not really a superhero, but he is a hero in the sense of what he's doing and in the sense that he is taken on peak human form to fight this evil that's overtaking his city. The preview issue is laid out great. It sets up what's going on um, in the timeline of this series. It's set in a very real world area. There are no superheroes. Um, it is real world problems going on. Uh, systemic racism is happening. Uh, young people disappearing into sexual trafficking. There's all sorts of real world things going on here when this pastor becomes overwhelmed with grief because one of his congregants goes missing and is assumed to be taken into the sexual trafficking trade. This issue is really the origin story of the Watcher, and so we don't get deep into the story yet, but we see how he came to where he is now, how he got his powers. There's a dude with a wolf head, there's about to be a big fight going on, there's some pretty cool Holy Spirit guns. I don't even know what Holy Spirit guns are. This issue leaves you on a cliffhanger, I'm not going to get into it, but it does leave you on a cliffhanger that leaves you wanting to know what happens next. Uh, who is this wolf head dude? Um, again, what are Holy Spirit guns? Okay, that's not the name of these guns in the series, that's just my name for them. The art in this issue is very solid, does not detract from the story at all, it adds to the story, which is always what you want the art to do. You don't want the art to be a distraction, you want it to fit with the, the style of the story, and it does that perfectly. Um, there's an introduction at the beginning of the book that kind of outlines what's going on, and what you can kind of expect in this first issue, and that's great, it really adds to the story right up front, you know what you're getting into. There's not a whole lot of dialogue going on, it's more um, internal monologue happening, so I can't really comment on the dialogue, but the writing is good, um, it's well edited. I look forward to seeing what happens next with the Watcher series. This preview issue really sets up a, a great standard for the rest of the series. It speaks to relevant issues that are happening right now. It doesn't um, doesn't try to skirt any any issues of racism or, or some of the stuff that we struggle with as a country or really as a world. Great job on this preview issue, uh, really sets things up nicely. Can't wait to see what happens next.